Hello everyone, my name is Ultraviolet4 and you have just tuned into what is the second game of some number of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup games that I'm going to play. If you are very brand new to the game, I ask that you go back, if you haven't seen it already, to my first game, which is a Minotaur Berserker of Trog. Because in that game I explain a lot of the very basic things such as move me, movement, going downstairs, all those really basic brand new things. In this game I'm not going to explain quite so much at length as I did in the other games. So I'll still try to explain my thought process and the decisions I'm making, but I'm not going to give you 10 minute monologues about the different branches that we're going in, etc. Okay, so today we're going to be playing what is my favorite combo in Crawl. We pick Trunk and it's loading, 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 loading. Um, anyway, if this ever finishes loading. Um, we're going to play what is my favorite combo in Crawl, which is a Hill Orc Monk. And we're going to follow the god Beo. A monk is, well, a hillock. A hillock is kind of similar to a minotaur. You don't have horns and your aptitudes generally aren't as, aren't as good as minotaurs across the board. There we go. Um, but they're very good with axes and they play in a similar way in that they're tanky and good at hitting stuff with weapons. So I'm going to pick hillock. A monk is a kind of zealot class, but instead of being um, given a religion at the start, what happens is you can pick any god you want, and then the first god you pick, you get two points of piety immediately. So I'm going to pick monk. Uh, a few versions ago, if you were a monk, you'd be unarmed, but now you can pick a weapon. Uh, if we hit the percentage thing here, it will show us our aptitudes. Oh god, that's aptitudes for everything. Okay, we'll just take it from me that hillocks are very good at axes. Here we go. We have... I don't know. That's not it. Anyway, hillocks are very good at axes. We're picking axes. And there we go. We started. Um, unfortunately, we start in a robe, so we're going to be picking up any armor that we see immediately and go M for our skills. We definitely don't want stealth. Uh, dodging is a minus two aptitude, whereas armor is plus one, so we'll turn off dodging and put armor on. We'll train some dodging later probably, but not right now. And then we'll focus axes because our weapon is our primary concern. I'm going to hit my backslash button and I'm going to turn books off from auto pickup. Uh, it's similar to a Minotaur Berserker in that we want to walk around as a tanky guy hitting things with a weapon in heavy armor. And at the end of the day, books are for nerds anyway, so we don't want books. Okay. Um, normal early crawl is that you want to try to fight, especially when you're XL1, you want to try to fight enemies as much as possible one at a time. Especially so when we're stuck in a rope. Okay. Oozes are kind of... We have 20 HP, but oozes can do up to 5 damage in one hit. So they're a bit scary, but never mind, not scary at all. Uh, a jackal pack, they're bad when you have no AC because you can't run from them. Look at all these helmets, you have a choice of helmets, isn't that cool? Grab that one and we'll get away from the dust slug and we'll put our helmet on. Very nice. Very stylish. Of course, the 
The thing is, when you have multiple helmets like this, you can take style into consideration. Grab the other one. Now let's see. Which one looks best? I think this one's pretty cool. Oh, it's cursed though. Never mind. Our decision was made, but we can check it out later. Because, you know, style. All that stuff. It's quite important. Here is... Never mind, we got enemies. And also, I'm gonna... Oh god, jackals. I'm gonna try to streak my games. So... Um... If I can... Oh, jackals, let's get in the hallway, fight them one at a time. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can't bring you through a win streak. Which right now means, because we don't yet have Remove Curse identified, I'm not going to wear this amulet yet. Because it could be a cursed amulet of inaccuracy, and then that could effectively just kill us. You might not care if this is just, you're on D1, you just started a game, maybe the amulet is something really good. And say it's really bad, then you just die, you can start again, whatever. But for me, because I'm streaking, uh, we won our last Minotaur game. I'm not going to put it on yet. Let's put on this leather armor. Gave us an extra AC. Okay. As for scrolls, because I would really like to get Identity or Remove Curse, as soon as I find two of a scroll, I'll read it, because it's probably one of those two. As in, either Identity or Remove Curse. That was a glowing whip. Um, the problem is that, again, as the planes fly overhead, uh, the problem is that it could just be a curse whip, so I'm not going to try that again for the same reason. There's a glowing whip. So it could just be cursed, could be a cursed minus three whip or something, and we wouldn't be able to unequip it. So we're not going to even try. Plus, um, hill orcs are just really good at axes. Uh, they have a plus three aptitude for axes. Maces and flail plus one, pole arms plus one. So the other combat things they're still pretty good at, except for staves. Apparently not very good at staves. But axes plus three is just so good. Alright, and I didn't explain anything about Beo, which is the god that we're looking for. Beo is a special sort of god, a dagger of training. Mm, we have no other tools. Let's, because we're a street player, let's pick up, it's only one stone. Do we find any other stones? We do, we found lots of stones. Alright. Because we're a streak player, we're going to throw stones at things. Uh, we're going to go strength. Because we want to get to about 23, 24 by the end of the game. Alright. Because we're streak players, we're going to throw rocks at things. F is the fire button. God. Um, so Beo is a god that can only be worshipped by hillocks. And it is my favorite god to play. It's so fun. Basically what happens is, as you get piety, other orcs start recognizing you as a messiah. And they'll join you as followers. Two scrolls. Okay, let's go to an upstair. In case it's teleport. Enchant armor. Hmm. Let's check it on our helmet. So it looks like style is now no longer the deciding factor. We're getting drained. Ugh. And so you build up, you basically become Orc Jesus. <laughs> and you build up this army of followers who they experience, they level up. Um, eventually you can gift them weapons and items that you find. And people, I don't know. People seem to not rate Theo very much, but if you don't think that Theo is the strongest god in the game, then you are objectively wrong.
Theo is the best god. Maybe not strongest. It's best. If you can if you factor in how fun he is, Theo is the best god. If you don't believe that, I'll prove it to you. It's so much fun. There's another two. Let's read that. It is teleport. I was gonna say we don't mind teleport so much now because we're we've cleared most of it already. Alright, onto D3. We haven't seen any other armor I think. Um no. As soon as we find a heavy armor we'll upgrade it. Um the other thing about Bio is that you don't follow typically anyway. You don't follow Bio in a standard way. Normally with a god you find a shrine and then you convert to them. Usually in the temple. Um, with Bio, as we get teleport trapped into some strange little room. Uh, with Bio, the first time you find an orc priest, in fact I think every time you find an orc priest, you get offered an ability to convert. Uh, our first adder. Uh, we have a couple of two, so we probably have curing. Alright, adders are so dangerous. Um, your first adder is a really big test of your character. We already just got poisoned. Um, the first time you meet an adder, you can just die and lose as we're getting more poisoned. Uh, this is getting really bad. Uh, we're going to start quaffing. Generation bad. That was. Oh no, the first one was mutation. Oh right, and we just mutated three bad mutations. And then we just got degeneration. So this is not going well. That's agility. Let's see if we can not be poisoned again. Now we're lethally poisoned. So now we pretty much have to get curing or we just die. Uh, that's Mike. Uh, last chance. Cheering. Alright, now we need to kill this and not get poisoned. We did it. Alright. So as I was saying, the first adder you meet is a really big test of whether you live or die. And you saw it there. If I didn't have curing just then, I would have just straight up died. Uh, but we lived, because we're a liver. So that's good. Um, once we find Bio, um, we'll be a lot safer because with our two starting piety that we'll get for being a monk um, We'll immediately get his first ability which is to smite things So in that case we could have just used our smite on the adder and killed it for sure. Let's wear this uh, ring now And we're going to drop this other helmet and the other armor Okay Scroll to teleport is nice. Um, we have no way to dig through that, so those items are off limits. Another adder. We don't have curing. Um, do we want agility? I'll see. If we start getting poisoned, I'll agility. Just take this slowly. No, that one was easy. Adders are the most dangerous enemy in the game. Really. Because uh, they're evasive and they just poison you and you just die. And when you meet them, you often don't have curing. When you first meet them, all. he is an orc, but he doesn't seem to have a priest with him. Okay, that's d3, we're up to d4. Now, if we. Here's something that you also notice about Crawl. When you're trying to get Bio, you won't ever find all priests. If you're some uh, low HP race and you're playing that, you find 700 million all priests. There's a second scroll. Uh, well, we have teleport, so I didn't need to walk to the step. It's ID. Um, we're seeing curing. Let's try our amulet. Magic regen. Uh, we may as well put it on. It's, I guess, better than nothing. But we have no use for our magic. 
And we'll ID one of these potions, Berserk Rage. Cool. Um, I could read these other scrolls. Yeah, let's do it. Amnesia, we have no spells. Uh, fog, magic mapping. We're not looking for the temple, so. or other altars, really, so it doesn't really matter. Recharging, we wasted it. And remove curse. Okay, so we could take our helmet off if we wanted. This is blinking. Okay, so we just wasted a couple of pretty good scrolls, which is the disadvantage of reading them like this. Uh, that was noise, so I'm gonna head back towards the upstairs. And uh, nothing came. Oh god, that iguana really hurt. Um, we're gonna Zerk Rage. That iguana really hurt. He is a skeleton, it can't come upstairs, so I'll just fight it here. And if we start dying, which we didn't, could have gone up. What is that? The first two don't matter so much. I mean, it would be nice to have more decks, but this one is quite crappy. Potions and wands are less effective at restoring our health. So hopefully we can find a cure mutation somewhere. That's an orc wizard, which indicates that there's very likely to be a priest around. Um, orc wizards are still very threatening to us at the moment because we have no curing, so we could just get confused to death. Where was that? That was over there. I'm gonna walk around the back and see if there was a priest there. Once we uh, no curing for the worker ant. Um, we just want to walk away from that too. I'm going to exclude that stair. Uh, the worker ants more dangerous to us without any potions of curing than the wizard is. The wizard will stop being a threat once we... We won't stop being a threat. But... Well, actually, it's true for both. Once we find Bio, if we ever find a priest, um, we'll be much less threatened by that stuff because we can just smite it if we have to. This ant is just chasing us everywhere. Get some food. Oh. Oh, there are multiple ants, that's why. This one, I don't think. We're not going to escape from this one. We're too far from the stairs, and he's faster than us. Um, I'm going to quaff the agility. Okay. Uh, that might... Like, it might look like I'm... Really, sort of, being overly cautious. But this first part of the game is by far going to be the most dangerous. So, two at once. Um, I'd be much better off using my consumables now rather than not and just dying. And that puff of frost hurt. Um, I have a mite and I have an unideed one. Or I have a teleport. I'm just going to teleport away. I'd rather not fight two at once anyway. Okay. We got that one. If I can fight one at a time, that would be fine. Hey, there's a plate armor and an ogre, a D4 ogre. Um, they can do about 40 damage per hit. I'm gonna pick this up and then walk away. So this D4 is really bad so far. Let's exclude that one. Uh, there is a lot of stuff that's trying to kill us on this floor. And there's that ant. Mm. Uh, 
Uh, poisons, we got it. Let's put that plate armor on actually. We're currently 7 AC, 11 EV. This one's 13 5, that's much better. You'd rather have AC than EV, generally speaking. Or wizard. Two of them. If I pull one up, it should be okay. He's hasted, that's not a bullet. But I'll wait a bit and then I'll go down again. Okay, we got we got one. I'll take him up. Level six, we want more strength. With my Minotaur Berserker, I was mostly I was like confused. I was mostly deviling deviling. Leveling decks because as a berserker you start off with a lot of strength, whereas as a monk you don't so much. So we want to get our strength up for our armor. And no orc priests, as is tradition when you're trying to play Dio. Uh, that's crazy youth will be in here. We don't really want to fight him. So let's go down. It's like we managed to. Avoid that ogre. We hear rushing water. There's a sewer somewhere. If we could find it, that would be a bonus. Wand of Polymorph, Wand of Ice Blast. The Wand of Ice Blast is very good. We could use that to kill ogres, etc. Without actually getting hit for 39 damage. Scroll of Fear, and we found a curing, so we're not going to die to the next ant we find, thankfully. <laughs> Here it is, we won't die to it, unless we're really unlucky. Okay. We won't. Uh, phantoms are red, but they're not really that dangerous, because they blink. So if it goes poorly, we can just walk away, and he'll, he won't follow us. We might follow us, but he'll blink away. Slowly getting him. That one hurt a bit. Go. Uh, okay. There's the. There's the train. Uh, that is a very interesting sword. Well, I might have to use that. <laughs> we'll see. We made it in and we'll rest here. Um, we have 26 fruit already. Okay. Let's have a look at this sword. It is the sword of Zongldrok. Zongldrok, maybe? A blade imbued with the essence of a legendary necromancer. Those slain in its presence will be reanimated by its power and forced to fight on. I wonder if... Dio might get really angry about that actually if I use it to kill orcs. <laughs> um, it's a double sword, so it's one-handed weapon, which means I could use it with a shield. It's a plus nine double sword. Let's see. Long blades is a plus one aptitude. We've got seven... 0.5 in axes, but this is a plus 9 sword. Um, I've never actually used it before, so let's just test it out on these rats. Even though I have zero uh, long blade skill at the moment, because it's a plus 9 weapon, it's still going to do a lot of damage. Oh man, I get zombies. Okay, this is great. Never mind. I'll go on long blades. <laughs> All in. Screw axes. I want a zombie army. Okay, this is this is awesome. Cool. That is a lot of adders. That is a lot of adders. Thankfully we have a zombie army. This is sick.
Um, another another thing is uh, as a BO follower, you want to carry around all the sweet artifact weapons you find because you can give them to your orcs. But I know for a fact because I've tried it that this sword doesn't work on an orc follower. So I have to use it myself if I want to see it. Zombies. They're just killing everything. Wow. Ooh, we got a lot of sweet stuff. This is maybe the longest train I've ever seen. This is crazy. So many enemies, and there's a frog. Um. What do? I have a mite. Um. I'll stop fighting. No, I won't. This is getting bad. I'm gonna might because I'm versing multiple snakes and a frog. I'm gonna hit the frog. Oh man, when I repost. <laughs> okay, so the thing about uh, long blades is if something attacks you and misses, you get a chance to repost, which is to counter attack. So when stuff is missing me, I'm potentially making zombies. This is sick. Oh, uh, this is another... Another frog. <laughs> oh man, this weapon is awesome. Look how much stuff we found. We now have... Six potions of curing, so we shouldn't be getting poisoned to death anytime soon. Awesome. Alright, so we've kind of... Uh, solved our very early game problems, I'd say. Uh, I say that as this ice beast just almost takes half my health in one go. <laughs> oh man, the repost into zombie horde is awesome. Note that your zombies can't follow you between floors. In this case, because my, my long blades are so far behind where they would be if we were training from the start, I'm going to turn the other stuff off and just train long blade skill. This weapon gets to min delay at 16, which is not that high, so that's nice as well. Uh, let's fight these one at a time. Uh, let's not get trapped between the ice beast. Um, I guess what this means though is that if we keep killing everything with the sword, we don't get a chance to eat anything. <laughs> so it kind of means we're going to have to dip into our perma food now, but that's okay. Uh, the T button is for talk, and so if I go TA, I can tell my allies to attack. And then... Uh, uh, 40. If I get hit once more, I'll start running. Never mind. Is this a chance? If a monster is... The corpse will be animated. Okay, so anytime a corpse gets left, we'll get it, zombie. So that is great. So, I guess the dream is that we walk around with a zombie and an orc army. And just kill everything. So we're up to D6 and we still haven't seen an orc priest. This is... Classic, I want to play Bio. <laughs> Classic. No ID skills. It's like, when do you ever get a game where you get to D6 and you haven't seen an Orc Priest? Normally as soon as you get to D3, you see 700,000 of them. Here's an Orc. Is there an Orc pack? Uh, there's an orc warrior. So we found an orc warrior before we've even seen a priest. Game Y. Why do you do this game? Ooh, it's lagging out for a second there. And I'm gonna drop these stones that I'm carrying around. I don't need to throw stuff anymore. Come on, 
game. Give us an old priest. There we go. Uh, he hasn't seen me yet. There you go. The old priest shouts, surrender to Bio and we'll let you live. Hit my ability button, convert to Bio. Do I really want to join? Yes, I do. But here are the abilities. Uh, at two stars, it might be one star, maybe two. Anyway, the first ability is that you can smite people, which is, um, it works like the old priest ability. So, uh, it's, sm <laughs> it's smite targeted. <laughs> well, smite targeted means you can hit any tile that you can see. You don't have to have direct line of sight. It's irresistible. It can't be dodged and it ignores AC. So it's a very good panic button or way to kill things that say are really tanky, that sort of thing, really hard to hit. From three stars, you start getting orcish followers and that's where the real fun begins. Because we're a monk, uh, whoops, I forgot to actually say yes. Yes, we want to join. Okay, there we go. Because we're a monk, we immediately have two stars of piety which means we can immediately start smiting stuff. The damage that smite does scales off your invocation skill and hillocks have a plus three aptitude for invocations. So I'm going to turn that on and we're going to train invocations for the rest of the game. Awesome. These brown little circles mean that they're, um, they're neutral. If they were green, that would be a follower. So now that we've just joined Beer, we'll leave it there and that's it.